Hi, I'm Jason Blaze, and this is your jobs report for October 2009, brought to you by jobsandvt.com, how Vermont gets to work. Taking a look at the job posting numbers from Jobs and VT in October, we see the job market continue to struggle as we enter the fourth quarter. After a considerable recovery in the number of jobs posted from April to August, postings declined for a second straight month in October. In this chart, we see job postings by month over the trailing two years, which provides a very good perspective for the current trends. While the decline here may be reason for concern, there is some comfort to be found when we take a look at the number of employers who are advertising job openings on jobsinvt.com. As this next graphic shows us, after a sharp decline at the end of 2008 and beginning of 2009, we see that the number of employers posting job openings has recovered a little and appears to have stabilized. On the horizon though, there is a very strong possibility that we'll see this decline again during November and December, as many non-retail employers will hold off on hiring until the new year. This, however, is a normal trend we see annually. Also, as you'd expect, the trend of more people visiting Jobs in VT in search of jobs continues. As the site hosted more than 186,000 unique visits in October, recording the highest volume of site traffic since the site's inception more than six years ago. This month, we're also including what we call the Jobs in VT Key Economic Indicators, where we track four job categories that provide insight into the health of the economy and the job market right here in Vermont. In this next chart, you can see the growth in the number of jobs posted on jobsinvt.com in manufacturing, retail, construction, and information technology and computer fields. As you can see by the green dotted line on this graphic, the number of IT and computer related jobs has declined for the second straight month, though it's still up compared to June. Manufacturing, retail, and construction are all showing strength and may be a precursor to the slight uptick in the economy and consumer spending. As we do every month, we also take a look at what types of jobs are being posted and where they are. This graphic shows the top categories of jobs posted on Jobs in VT for October. And we see that the effect of the ski season is already being felt in the job market, as postings for sports and recreation related opportunities represented the second largest category for job openings. Nonprofit and social services jobs also remain strong among the most popular types of jobs available, continuing their strength since the end of 2008. In this next graphic, we see the decline in total jobs posted came primarily for hourly wage positions, while salaried job opportunities have shown pretty consistent growth since the spring. As you'd expect, the largest volume of job openings continues to be in Chittenden County, though the number of job openings in Washington County has grown significantly since June of this year. Rutland County has also showed growth, while the number of jobs advertised in Lamoille has declined slightly during that time. And this wraps up the jobs report for October 2009, brought to you by jobsandvt.com. I'm Jason Blaze. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, while you work for the things you want, be grateful for the things you have.